M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Here we are with the Uniden UBC370 scanner, alarm clock and radio. Uh, it's quite cool really. I put some memory channels in. If we flick it to memory mode over here to where it says scanner. And we've got the squelch here. Turn it down. And turn the volume up. It's quite retro, but it's fun. So turn the squelch up until it stops the hash. Turn the volume up. And then we just cycle through a few channels that I put in. I have used the software and you can, you can connect this to the ARC370 software. I got a 30 day free trial. Um, so let's just scroll through some of my memories that they, and I have named them. Look, it says there GB3ZB. If we scroll up with the arrows. We've got a repeater there. S20 for hands. That's my hub net node. GB3FI, GB3BC, WR, no activity at the moment, unfortunately. Marine bands, that's GB3FH. And then we've got a, a broadcast channel in there as well. So we'll leave it, I mean, there's, I think it's 50 memories per bank and there are, is it 10 banks? So if you just like listening to all kinds of stuff, this is a, this is a, a good, good little starting point. They're only about 110 pounds, 120 pounds. Now, if you go to flick it to service mode, which is the middle one, you now can look at all these different bands. You go one to 50 megahertz, 51 to 100, each number is a band, 101 to 115. It's written above, and you can see the numbers that are selected here because you can actually deselect them. So if I deselect all the numbers, watch them vanishing here. So they're all deselected, and it's kept. It's made me just keep one. Okay. So if I just go back to say the ham band, which will be number three, and deselect one, it will just scan the ham band. Seems to be flicking back and forth there. So let's try another one. It's now scanning three and five. And if it, that'd be an airband channel. And let's choose number seven, deselect number three, and even number five. And it's, that looks like a CB band type frequencies. So that's how you just scan and you can press hold and it will stop. Now let's, let's just go to scanner mode again. That's scanner. We've got our channels. Now, how do we create a channel? So the way you do it, you press the number you want to program. So let's say it's one. Then hold, press hold. Then type in the frequency. We'll just put in the same four, three, zero. Remember the dot, dot, eight, two, five. Then press enter. Now, it, right, I've got it. I've made a mistake, so we'll start again. One, hold. Then you press enter. Then type in the frequency, four, three, zero, dot, eight, two, five. Then enter. So you have to press enter twice. It looks like you might even get the chance to name it there, but I haven't learned how to do that on this on the case here. And that's it, so we've, and look, you've even got tone showing there, so it's possible that you could create a tone. Now the light, see the way the light's always on? We hold it down. It beeps twice and it goes off. If you press it once, it will go on, but it will go off after a few seconds. Now it looks like it's set to stay on. If you hold it, beeps twice. And then I, when I did that, it's either stayed on or it went off. It was like a switch. Let's try it again. So you press it briefly. And before it was going off, but it looks like it wants to stay on now, which is fine. We can flick it across to radio, and that works in the normal way. And scanning it. We go like that, it scans. Go back to service. You've got these different icons here that are telling you what's going on. It does hold batteries. I don't think it charges them, but it does ha hold batteries, even rechargeable batteries. As you go through these different bands, when you're in the service mode, like number seven says SVC ham. We push number one, it says emergency, two, free net, three, 
SVC PMR. Marine and so on, an aircraft there, look, CB7. For some reason it's locked me out of 8, 9 and 10, so I don't know what I've done there, but it's locked me out. <laughs> but that's okay, all part of the learning. You've got tone there as well, for the alarm, and radio and off. And that's how you set your alarm. They're quite straightforward to select the alarm, you literally just alarm set, clock set. If you try and set the clock, I, I've never done this, so uh, what time is it here in the UK? It's 4.50, so should we go 4? How do we go along? 4, and then enter, I guess, yeah, and go down. If I had batteries in it, it would, you know, it would keep that. And then clock, we could set the clock. Say 7, clock set, no. Looks like you go to the first one, alarm set seven. You just go enter and back to clock. So yeah, get an idea. Hold down the snooze and get the light back on. But so I, I think you know it's a very usable item. It has a BNC connection, has a USB connector that connects to this software up I've got on my PC which looks like this, and it works fine. It sends and receives. You can Im upload lots of frequencies that you get from somewhere like RRUK. It's not a giant item. If you look at, say, this, this is my handheld scanner, Whistler. It's quite retro, it's quite old fashioned. What I, I remember alarm clocks looking like uh, in the 70s or 80s, I'd say 70s. So it's quite a retro look. It comes with quite a good manual, lots of information online for this. You've got your BNC here, power supply, headphones, and you can see the USB cable. The American version is slightly different, it's the 365. I think you've got a button that cycles you through the words air band, marine, all that kind of stuff here. So that's slightly different. You've got a search button here, which I haven't even used yet. Go back to scanner, turn it on with the power button here. Scanner mode at the moment, let's hit search and it starts to search. I'm guessing you preset that. Yeah, it looks like you do. Yeah. Nine. I'm not sure what LO means, someone let me know. And we've got memories here, which we haven't used. Let's go back to search. Is that a hold button there? Yeah, you can hold it. Lock, I'm guessing that that means lockout. I'm, I'm sure you could probably program these buttons. That's a step, so frequency step there. So as it scans at 6.25, go back to scan. Ah, you're in channel mode there, so let's try that. Hit one of these, scan. We've got a priority channel and delay. And it's a nice speaker here facing you. It, literally, you could sit there and just tinker with this for hours. The, the number one thing is getting an antenna that's going to receive everything. It, you know, it comes with an antenna like that. It's only a 12 volt power supply, like, which is good. It's like half an amp. So you're not going to be worried about putting it, putting it in the car or anything like that. So anyway, I'll do some more videos on this. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now. Please remember to like and subscribe. All the best.